Okay, so this is the game gear from last time where I've repaired the main board, put new caps in the main board, and it's got no sound. Sound does not work at all. So this time I'm gonna try and fix the soundboard. It has got bad caps on it, they have all leaked. So I'm um, gonna replace those before we do anything else. So I'm gonna take this part again, get the soundboard out and see if we can replace the caps on that and see if that makes any difference to the sound or at least gets us any kind of sound out of this at all. This is the current state of the main board of the soundboard. We've got large amounts of corrosion there, and the screw that I took out from that bit has got loads of corrosion on it as well. I'll have to clean that screw actually. Yeah, so it, even the screw's got loads of corrosion on it. So we've got a bunch of corrosion on there. Uh, I think that actually that cap there, C5, looks like the only one that hasn't leaked. So that one looks all right. The others have all leaked though. That one is hard to see but it has leaked, that one's leaked, that's leaked, that's leaked. So there's five caps on there, they've all leaked. Uh, the hard part's probably gonna be getting it out without melting these connectors, because I'm gonna probably use the hot air on it. So I need to get all those out without breaking anything. I might have to take those two plastic connectors off. Um, so I just need to minimize any kind of damage that could be done while I'm doing this. So I've just taken the two plastic connectors off, the one for the speaker and one for the sound coming in, uh, just because I don't want to risk melting them when I get the hot air on these caps. Uh, and it did smell really bad when they were coming off, but that's quite good. I've been quite careful in taking those off. Um, so the pads are all all right on that. So I'm not going to take any more off. I'm just going to cover this up with something to stop it from getting hot. And then it's just a case of getting the hot air to these caps and ripping them off. So that's the next step. So the hot air got those off quite easy actually without appearing to do any damage that I'm aware of. Let me just see if I can spot any. I think that's fine. They came off very easily and they smelt horrible. Oh, and look at the, look at the disgust that's under there. That is horrible. So yeah, those had leaked. Yeah, I, did, I managed to get that off quite easily. I'm glad I desoldered those um, connectors there though, because I'm not sure I would have been able to do it without melting them. That one. It's particularly disgusting. So even that one that looked like it hadn't leaked uh, has got corrosion underneath it. So it just goes to show actually that sometimes like only shiny bits of the pads were showing on that, but you can see when you see underneath the cap that it was actually, it was corroded as well. So they were all corroded. So the next job is to clean this board up, get all the corrosion and the stink off but yeah, I'm quite happy with that. That went quite well. Okay, so that's all the pads cleaned up. I just got to clean all the flux residue off those, but they look quite good, I think. They're reasonably flat. So they just look a bit messy because of all the flux residue, but I'll clean all that off now and then see what it looks like afterwards. There we go. 
not too bad. So those pads have cleaned up really nice. So we're ready to put fresh capacitors on all of those now. So that's really awesome. I don't think that could have gone any better. That's really, I've not damaged anything, not lifted any pads and everything just looks almost brand new right now. And looks like the corrosion from the capacitors hasn't really damaged anything as far as I can see. So we'll just see how this goes when all the caps are back in um, as to how well this does. That's all the caps replaced on the soundboard. It looks a bit janky, but uh, I've done it like that so that they all fit. I haven't put the connectors back in. I was just putting it back in the case to check that it still fits in with all the stuff that's above it and it looks like it does. So all we've got to do now is put the connectors back in and then we can give it a test run and see if this has actually fixed the sound. If you do need a piece of blue tack to stick your connector on while you're soldering it, you take one off your glow-in-the-dark unicorn. You take that off and then you use that to hold the connector on whilst you're soldering it. So that's why you need definitely need a pack of glow-in-the-dark unicorns when you're doing this kind of repair. Okay, so I believe that is one repaired soundboard. And whether this one's gonna work correctly is another matter, but we get to see now what happens. So I'm quite, I'm hoping for sound out of this thing now, but who is to say until we try it? Right, here we go. I have got the volume. Volume is on full. Oh, I can hear something. Cripes, that was loud. Well, I would say that might be a success. That is totally working again. And the one thing I have noticed, uh, other than it just being working in general, is it's way louder than the other game gear where I didn't replace the caps in the soundboard. Yeah, this one is super loud. It's gotta be like five times louder or something ridiculous. So um, looks like the caps in the other board, although they're not stopping it from working, are actually basically on their way out. Yeah, so it looks like I'll need to go back and recap the board on the other one as well, but they've both got working sound anyway. So that is a total success. I'm very happy with that. Wow, that is loud. Excellent. Fixed. <laughs>